to do YouTube. It's your boy, Connor Back with Muscle Addiction, man. If you're new to the channel, you don't know it's a vibe. Make sure you stop this video right now. Like, comment, and subscribe because it's a vibe, and we're going up our 2024 to 2025. I could rap for y'all, but I'm not even finna do that. I'm not even finna do that. Y'all be like, dang, man, he got the dreads too, and he needs to be a rapper. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? I'm just playing. I wouldn't get too far. But hey, y'all seen the title, y'all seen the thumbnail. I'm not finna bore y'all too much. But these are five things right here. Five things right here. That I five things that I dislike about my Chevy Camaro. This is not gonna be a hard list. Uh I like my last video about five things that I love about my Camaro, and I kinda had to wing it a little bit. Cause there there is a lot a lot of stuff that I love about this car, I think. More than I have um and a number of cons that I hate about this car. But five things I love about uh, hate about this car. Number one, being, and if y'all have done any research about problems on this vehicle, this is number one for me right here. And uh, it's the transmission, man. If you are in the market for a 6 gen Camaro SS, please do your Carfax history reports, ask questions, I mean, be thorough with it. Be very thorough to see if you can get any information on if the transmission has been serviced, flushed, uh, put the, the new updated fluid in, new torque converter, etc. Please, y'all, y'all do y'all research on that, man. Uh, when I got this car, it had like 84, 85,000 miles on it, so it, it was it was a higher mileage car, you know, and uh seeing it as uh, uh it only had one owner before me you know i was kind of going on a limb and plus i had extended warranty on the car but the transmission man it's, it's got a uh the infamous shutter from the torque converter which that's really the issue along with gm putting the improper fluid in there from the factory which they some idiots they, that's stupid but yeah that is going to be an issue that is almost inevitable you are going to have that issue if your torque converter hasn't been replaced if you haven't gone aftermarket or you are still on a stock torque converter please go and get your transmission serviced if you have not started developing those shutters you might be all right but if you start having those shutters you may as well go ahead and start saving up and stuff like that because you're going to be looking at you know well over probably a thousand dollars easily for a uh, probably an OEM torque converter, but a stall like an aftermarket one, it's probably most likely gonna be over a thousand dollars, and it's gonna be another probably fifteen and two thousand just to get that put in. So, just to to, to block all of that, you're gonna be looking at about three thousand dollars just to replace that. I mean, y'all don't don't quote me on that because y'all might have a local shop that's gonna do it cheaper than that for y'all. So, I'm not trying to bore y'all with that one issue, but when I tell y'all that is the biggest thorn on my side. I think that is. I think that's the biggest, and that's why I said number one. Number two, number two thing I hate about this doggone car, and I have said it before in another video. The starter, the starter issues on this car is ridiculous, ridiculous, and, and it's also inevitable. If you have not started having the slow starts with these with this uh, car, you're gonna have it. You know, if you haven't had started having those uh, hard start issues, then um, you know, be prepared because it's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna happen. But uh, this is a very common upgrade that a lot of people. I think they sell this kit on uh, Gen 5 DIY, if I'm not mistaken. But I've already upgraded not one, but two ground wires. This is not a ground wire from the factory. I added this myself. This is a, a GM part right there. Like I added two extra grounds. This one right here is going to this uh right here. Where is it at with my finger? Right there. That's where that ground is going to that boat right there. So um, that's one of them. And then this second one right here, I got going to this the back of that boat right there on the um is that the water pump? Yes, yeah, the water pump. So I've got those two grounds added and I still have hard starting issues. And uh, I just bought a, a brand new 
AGM battery, like one of those good ones. Like two, three hundred dollars I spent on a brand new battery. And uh not too much longer after I started having those issues again. And if y'all seen my hundred thousand mile update video, y'all will know that I got the starter replaced under warranty, under my uh warranty uh extended warranty it was twelve hundred dollars in parts and labor that i was gonna have to come out of if i didn't have that so y'all be on the lookout for that y'all be on the lookout for that like i said that's that's a uh if you have the the six speed manual or the uh a8 the piece of crap that everybody keep on calling and i see why now i see why i see why it, it still is a good transmission don't get me wrong this thing slaps but it's not it's not worth those doggone problems man i ain't lying to you but yeah, that starter issue, that's that's number two. Number three issue right here. Number three thing that I hate about this car. Uh, I've also made a video on this. And I'm gonna pop this. I don't know why I closed it, y'all. Why I close that? Why I close it? Okay, I get the fire right, right back up on here. Just stupid. Uh, the electric fan or electric fan thermostat um engine cooler temperature sensor it's it's all tied into the same thing um but what had happened and y'all can go look at that short uh and see one of the problems i think it's called uh one problem that they don't tell you about owning a 16 camaro i think something like that but uh y'all this dog on fan will cut on full blast and you'll think it's a, a jet you think it's a jet that's gonna pop up on you or something like that. I mean, I can hear this thing from inside of my apartment, outside. It's that loud. And uh, when you cut the car off, the fans are still run full blast, but they tell you, you know, to change your, I'm not gonna be able to see it, I don't think. Your engine coolant temperature sensor is somewhere off in there like i i can't i don't have a brain fart that could be it right there that could be it right there i'm not 100 sure though but they say either replace that or your thermostat me personally i don't have time for guessing games to to figure out you know uh if it's one or the other you know the parts cannon route you know i, I hate that so uh which is why in this next video i will be shooting it may be surprising y'all um uh, but yes, it's 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 kind of becoming a pain in my back. You know, those three issues right there that I've named are just ridiculous. So that's number three, fan issue. Like that's also inevitable. Those three, the three things that I've said right now are problems that you are going to run into if you haven't already. I mean, the fan issue I feel like maybe a stretch a bit because I feel like maybe it's like the luck of the draw. And this is for, for 16 to 18 models. Like, I don't know about the 19s and up. I, I don't think I've heard anybody say anything about starting issues or fan issues. And definitely not no transmission issues with the torque converter with the uh, 10 speed. So, that's number three. That's number three. Four. Number four is, uh, which I, I might have a little backlash for this, but um, uh, I, it's, it's, um what's the, the response to mods add-ons like compared to a ls parts dollar for dollar um uh, the money you would spend modding on a ls based engine will get you more power than the amount of money that you would throw into a lt1 engine these lt1 engines are only good for 600 around 600 horsepower and that's at the at the wheels if i'm not mistaken that's that's 600 uh 600 at the wheels man and that's don't get me wrong that's a lot of power man but if you're trying to go above that then you gotta really start dumping money into this thing and the first thing first being drop in pistons uh you might as well go ahead and update the stall converter because that's gonna go out anyway so you know those, that drop in piston just those alone are like um like almost two thousand if i'm not mistaken and then you, you're looking at the getting that installed like i said that's another um probably 50 uh probably two two and a half grand 
I mean, just for dropping and pissing, you're probably looking at three, uh, three grand, thirty five hundred, because they got to go inside the motor, you know. And that's just to kind of beefing up that, so you can start throwing more power at it. But you got to start upgrading fuel system things and and all the, you know, a bunch of other stuff, man. And you know, for thirty five hundred dollars to five of uh, five thousand dollars somewhere around there a ls motor you can put you uh a supercharger kit on there i mean a pro charger kit from toy storm or something like that and and easily get way more power out of it than you will with this you know that's that's what i don't like about it you know uh i seen some guy on the camara page that said he had put i think you know intake headers uh and I want to say a cam, man, and it it uh, it didn't even pick him up 80 horsepower. Like that's stupid. That's dumb. That's you spend all that money for 80 horsepower. You know, like that's I don't think it's worth it. You know, the car is very light. The car is light and handles well, so it doesn't take a lot of power to get it moving a lot faster. But it could get you a lot further on a different platform. That's just me. That's number four thing that I hate about this is uh, its reaction to mods versus what I'm a fan of the LS platform. So, you know, and prior to me owning this car, I didn't know. I didn't know my, my research about uh, response to mods. But in stock platform, in stock form, don't get me wrong. 455 horsepower, this thing, God, this thing bad. And it will get away from you. You can hurt yourself really bad in one of these right here. I mean, they don't have 200 on the dash for no for no reason, man. You know, so uh, that that's number four, man. It's just response to mods. I don't really like. It it sucks. It really does. I like guess it's, it's booty hole. Like I hate it, man. So that's number four. All right, number five is just the cost of the what ifs just to keep this thing. Um, but what what like in good standing as far as um not having like any after issue like that issues after because you didn't do your preventative maintenance like you have you have to make sure you get the transmission triple flushed or whatever like you gotta you know the the rear diff on these i heard uh, a lot of people uh have had their differential go out on these you have to make sure you follow your schedule intervals on this and which is along with any car so you know this may may not be uh i may be nitpicking okay well, a little bit so whenever i say this but compared to a lot of the other vehicles that's out there their service intervals are not nowhere why, am I, why is this camera not focusing their service intervals are nowhere near like with this the service interval god dang man for this right here so uh that's that's number five you know it's just um the the extra extra maintenance that you gotta go through i'm people that they've had to uh do like the lemon lawsuits or whatever you want to call it or you know i forgot what you call it but it's 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 a lemon you know what i'm saying and that's that's about where i'm at with this which is why i'm gonna be introducing something else to the channel sooner or later this year because uh I can say I had one. I can say I had a Camaro. I can say that uh, I let go of it because I want to. So uh, I'm not going to feel too bad about it. But that's my number five thing, man. I mean, that five might be a stretch, but it, it's a lot of preventative maintenance that you're going to have to do. Like I said, just constantly make sure your, your rear end, the, the fluid on that is is changed and good along with your um with your your transmission you know you got to make sure you keep that flush and you know in good good condition and stuff like that um a lot of people and they and they five things they they hate about these cars they say stuff about the visibility i don't there i don't have any issues with visibility if you watch enough videos they will tell you to to get your seat adjusted to where you're going to be sitting and then adjust your mirror your side mirrors all the way out until you can't until you the the the, the side of the car is out of your sight just as soon as the, the side of the car gets out of your sight stop the mirror right there it will give you the best visibility out this car like it's just hands down so i don't, I don't know why people say that but those are my five things that I dislike about this car. And it's actually way, it, that's a, a big weight. 
you know it may not seem five things may not seem like a lot but um that that's the starting issue is is the biggest for me because uh like i said twelve hundred dollars not even two years ago i just spent on a, a brand new uh you know they, they put a new starter uh, on here and it's already doing the same thing again like this for example it might start up a little bit quick but i'm gonna post a uh before and after like a what it the car sounded like whenever i got the starter put on and now That's, that's too slow. That's way too slow. All right, and that's the second crank. Like, it should it be starting way faster than that. Like, way faster. So, that's everything I got on this. Five things that I, I dislike about this Camaro. I mean, and that's that's a lot of... Um, I had to, you know, that, that's five things. Like, that's it. Those are the, the only cons that I hate about this car. I mean, everything else, you know, are pros, man. I mean... Everything else are pros, man. So if you're looking for something right out the box, good money, it still is a good, it's a, it's a good, it's a good buy. But make sure you got your pockets in order for for maintenance and stuff like that, and the what ifs. So just something to look out for. Those are my five things. My Chevy Camaro 2SS, actually my sixth gen Camaro. So yeah. Uh. That's all I got for y'all, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, browse the channel. Hopefully it wasn't too much dialogue in this and I was doing a lot of talking. I'm going to chop this down to where it's, it's more enjoyable to watch. Like I said, so. Um, and clips in this video, too. I only got my mount, so I don't think I can post y'all up to get y'all uh, a rev. But I got some stuff. Oh, oh, snap. I'm glad we done brought this uh, wheel bearing wheel bearing is uh something that is very common to go out on the front on the front of these i seen another video a guy was replacing his and it was on the same side so uh be on the lookout for those yo uh wheel hub wheel bearing it will you'll notice the noise for sure it's a, it's a loud roaring noise so you'll know if it's going bad Yeah, <laughs>